Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to build a simple web HTTP proxy. The implementation is going to be in Node.js. But along with the proxy, we will also learn how to perform actions on the intercepted request and modify it according to our needs. Well, before that, what exactly is a proxy? It's just a door. Let's call it a gateway for any request that goes out via your computer to the external world and then the response is again passed via the proxy which ends up at your computer simple right let's see what we are going to build now as i said it's a simple implementation in node.js it will have the ability to block resources let's say images or css and again, and another middleware would be to intercept and modify data. Sounds cool, right? Let's have a look at the end results first. So for the purpose of demonstration, I have built a site called Let's Proxy. And as you can see, I have there are a few images loaded in it. Now let's try to route all the requests via the proxy refreshing and as you can see there are a few assets of jpg and png which got blocked and even on the website you can see the alternative text to that image so basically this shows that somehow i was able to intercept the request and block it let's have a look at another example now a simple server up and running which just greets you depending on the language that you specify. So for the timing, it just has two languages. If you provide English in the post request, you get the greetings as hello. And if you provide Spanish, you get it as hola. Let's try to do a post request to it. So there I am doing a post request and I'm sending the language English. There's no proxy in between for the time being. And as you can see, the language received at the server end was English and thus the greetings was hello. Now, let's say I have the proxy in between. And, and in this as well, I'm sending the language as English. But let's see what happens. I get the greetings as hola and here in the server side as well you can see the language received as spanish so this shows that i was able to change the data being passed in the post request as well in the proxy sounds cool right let's jump to the implementation now require two models http and url which we'll be using in this project and I have just noted down these steps we will be following. Intercepting the request, parsing the original request out of it. This is something we'll discuss later. Making the actual external request and then sending the response back from the external request to the client. So here I have set up a simple HTTP server which is listening on port 4998. So let's do the initial thing. First is parsing. So for that, let's call it request to full fill let's say where i will be parsing the request which is to be made uh, yeah so this will get the url and parse it in different parts now we'll have to frame the uh, request that will be making the external one let's call it options object we will first get the say the method we can get it that we can get that from the client request object then are the headers which contains the metadata of the request made Then we need the host name, which we will get from the request to fulfill object that we just created. 
and then we'll also fetch the port which is the port and if the port is not specified let's say we'll set at the default port of 80 which is used for communication and then is the uh, yeah the path or let's say all the query params or attached to the actual request so that will be from request to fulfill path so we are sort of ready with the body to do so and here we'll do something cool next is execute the request mm, let's make another function uh, let's call it execute request we'll pass the option the client request Client response and let's create an external request that we will be making using the HTTP model itself. I will be passing the options and I will get the response here in my callback. Now, the one thing to note here is that just initiating the request doesn't end it. We need to notify our external request that the client request made here has completed. So we will be creating events where I will uh, capture the end event and if the client request has ended I will notify my external request that yes the client has completed and if the client is sending some data let's say via post request then I will have to forward it as it is. Clear? So now, so after getting the response here, we need to send it to the client. So for doing this, first we'll have to write the headers for the client as to what exactly we received in the response i.e. the status code and the headers but that doesn't end it right we need to map the data as well so whatever we are receiving from the external source we we'll have to map it to the client response similarly when the external response ends we will end the client request as well that's it oops i missed the calling of the execute request there you go we'll pass the options the client request the client response hmm. yeah everything seems good enough let's try running it no proxy started on local dash 4998 right now i haven't uh, set it up in my proxy settings as you can see wait HTML proxy is unticked let's try reloading it you can see the image is getting loaded now let's set the proxy and as we have added logging there just take a load Oh, so we didn't really add the logging there. So let's add the logging as well. So let's print the method first. And let's the protocol, the host name, let's say, and let's say the port uh, sorry path then let's run it again so as you can see all the requests were actually captured so the first request i.e the let's proxy side and then all the assets which were fetched via the request 
cool right now let's try blocking specific assets so for that we will decide that here so let's create uh, <coughs> a folder called as plugins hmm. check assets let's say which will uh, will be creating two functions here called image access will be passing the path to it and it will return a boolean value whether the path matches the let's say the image could be uh, let's say dot png or let's say jpg let's block these two and this, sh this shouldn't be null yeah let me just explore it And now uh, let's let's create a folder called middleware. And the same structure follows. We'll, we'll call it as block resources dot js. <coughs> In this uh, block resources. This will be receiving the uh, let's say the options object and the um, asset methods to check for let's say <clears throat> so we will be going by each asset method and we'll be calling it with the path yeah so what the sum function will do is it will check whether either of the methods like if any one of the methods return true then the value or the boolean value of this statement will be true so here we will be checking whether the path contains PNG or JPG or not. So let's export this as well. Yeah, there you go. Now we will be requiring both of them in let's say yeah and then the next would be the resources from the middleware so let's do something So we will call the block resources request we will pass the options object and we will pass the method which will check for assets and if it returns true that means we are supposed to block the request <coughs> so we will just shift the login here we will uh, log it and we will just 
just say that load and we will just end the client request here itself else we will proceed with the execution of the actual request I'll just add a login here well, yes you can move it into a function as well yeah Mm. so there you go let's try running it yeah as you can see the images got blocked only the png and jpg the specific images of other extension and let's see in the logs as well we can see that all the assets which were blocked that is the png jpg png jpg now let's try something else let's try blocking well well how about you try blocking the css assets as well and let me know in the comments later so now let's move on to the second example that i showed where i'll be able to manipulate the request that, that i just made so uh, So I have this server up and running. Uh -oh. Which will just return the greeting depend on, depending on the language selected. So let's keep it aside. Let's try going via at once. And as you can see, I sent the language English and I got the greetings in English. Now let's say I want to intercept the data here. So where do you think we'll be doing this? So this is the place. The data being sent from the client request. So let's do one thing. Let's add a if condition here. Uh, We'll just pass the data from the chunk. It's it, the chunk is in a buffer format, so we'll have to convert it to string first and then pass it in the JSON form because we are sending a JSON here. And the language, if it's let's say English, we will modify the chunk itself. We'll stringify the data that we are sending. That is, let's say, language Spanish. But okay, before that, we'll have to change it to buffer form first. Yeah, there you go. So basically, if the chunk contains language English, we change it to lang language Spanish. Let's try again. And let's try running it via the proxy now. So this is the request and I will add the proxy into it. Close for the minute. There you go. I got the greetings back in hola. And there was this post request made on greetings which was allowed. So here I was able to manipulate the request. So that's it for the examples and implementation. I get a repository of nProxy uh, where I have updated it with the latest code and also the procedure how to run it. Well, I'm open for any sort of contributions. Uh, feel free to open any PRs. And regarding the features, well, obviously, this doesn't end here, right? You can add caching for the request which goes via your proxy or you can add any sort of authentication. Well, it doesn't end there. So yeah, enjoy learning. Thanks.